chapter 3, verses 13 through 14. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree. So that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles, so that we might receive the promise spirit through faith. When we judge ourselves by looking at others, we can, we can look pretty good. But when we judge ourselves looking at God and his holiness and what he requires of us, that makes us want to shrink back. But thanks be to God, and what this text says right here is by God's grace that all of us can stand before God with boldness because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. Amen. So this text actually tells me two things, and I'll just tell you really quick. Number one, there's never going to be a time that I am walking in sin or that my life is just not how it's supposed to be, that grace can't cover me. Amen. But also what it says is there's never going to be a time when I'm walking in faith and I'm doing, doing a great uh, for the Lord that I don't need grace as well. Amen. We always need grace. Grace every single day. The second thing that this text tells me is that Christ is for the nations. Christ is for the Gentiles. You and me. So that through the blessing of Abraham, all of us may be able, able to enter the kingdom. Today we have a missionary, missionary speaking with us, Tom and Ellen Skatanis. Actually, no, because I talked to them today, you guys are wrong. It's, <laughs> yes, I did. I talked to them today, it's like saying school. Skatanis, right? Boom. So, um, so welcome, Don. I'm really thankful that they're here. They're going to be talking to us about us. Cameroon in a really serious matter, all jokes aside, that is really actually affecting some of our people here today. And so um, I pray that your ears are just really attentive to what they have to say today. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father, I just thank you for being back in the house of the Lord. I thank you for this week that we've been able to gather with our families and, and the testimonies that we heard Wednesday about how you brought others out of darkness into light and all the things that you're doing around the world. Um, Lord, I just thank you for your goodness. I thank you for this church and the, in this community uh, that loves you and loves your word. Um, that you still use us so many things to praise you for this morning. As we go into praise and worship this morning, Lord, I just pray that our hearts will not be the same as when we walked in here, that we will find more reasons to count our blessings and more reasons to thank you. It's today, and even as we go into the holidays. We thank you, Jesus, for loving us when you could have turned away from us. We thank you for loving us when we were your enemies. We thank you for bringing your enemies to the table to eat with you. We thank you that the love of Christ has been poured into our hearts so we can love others as well. Father, I just pray that you would be with us this morning as we hear the word of God, as we sing the word of God, and as we go out into our communities to share the word of God. We ask all these things in Christ's name. Amen.